Hi, my name is Tabitha Ricketts, and I'm here today to interview Jonelle, and she's a sickle cell patient, and I'm very excited about this interview. So hi, Jonelle, how are you today? Hi, I'm doing well, thank you. Oh, wonderful. So Jonelle, I understand that you have sickle cell. I was born with sickle cell. You um, was born with sickle cell, okay. I was diagnosed when I was five. Okay. Do you have the disease or the trait? Uh, I was diagnosed with the disease. Okay. Um, how would you... How have you been able to manage your crisis with the sickle cell disease? Um, I believe in the power of prayer. And more than medications or anything else that I've been able to get my hands on, uh, I really rely on God to help me through the difficult times with sickle cell. Okay. And when you're having a pain crisis, are there, is there medication that you take? Um, do you drink water? Do you exercise? Exactly what is the procedure when you have a, a pain crisis? Um, with pain crisis, sometimes uh, you do everything you can. You hydrate. Um, there are various medications. Uh, I used to take Oxycontin, Morphine, Percocet. Um, you get lots of rest. And sometimes you do all of that and still um, there's no relief but recently I have been completely off of medications you're off all meds I'm off all meds so when you have a pain crisis are you telling me you don't take any medication uh, I'm symptom free as well oh wonderful congratulations that is so good to hear so let me ask you another question what advice would you give to other sickle cell patients um, recently, I found the importance of community. Um, it's good to have the right people around you, uh, just being able to encourage each other and feed off of each other's stories. Um, a lot of times you think that you're alone in what you're going through, and it helps to know that someone else has been there. It helps to know how they're managing what they're going through. Um, and always pray. I never give up. Just never give up. The things that I have been praying for since 2013, even further back from then, those are the things that have been manifested in my life now. No medication, no depression, and I'm symptom free. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. You know, earlier you and I were talking and you were telling me about your community and your support group. Tell me a little bit more about the support group. Um, I had never been big on sharing what I was going through, but I found a support group and um, in coming together with them, I realized that there is power in sharing your stories. And um, I'm just thankful for the opportunity to encourage and let other people know that, you know, there is relief from sickle cell. Okay. So do you mind telling us the name of the support group that you're affiliated with? Um, the first one is Living Waters, which is one that I started in January. Okay. I started being a part of in January. It's not um, specifically to sickle cell. Uh, it's a healing support group. And the other one is the sickle cell support group at the um, Grady Memorial Hospital. Okay. All right. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for taking your time today to share your message with us. And I know that you will help impact and help um, um, save a lot of lives, you know, and help people to manage their day-to-day -day disease and their symptoms with sickle cell. So thank you, Janelle. Thanks for coming by. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.